Well, we're not Viking views. And we're not Adam C. But we are supercar speeders. And we're here today at Caffeine and Machine repping the Viking views merch. We are on our way to the British Motor Museum, which is a place that I've been many, many times before, but my fiance hasn't. So we're going to take a trip there today. We've got a day off work, so why not? And I am going to try talking a lot more in this video, but it's kind of hard because I have the personality of a potato and I get very camera shy. But nonetheless, we'll give it a try anyway. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy the video and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. We so one of the main reasons why we're here is to take a look at the DeLorean. It's obviously moved from where it used to be in the room over there out onto the main floor here. But we're both big fans of Back to the Future and this is from the second movie. So it's a replica from the second movie. Obviously you've got Mr. Fusion and uh, unfortunately we're not able to open it up for us. Uh, you can sort of get a glimpse inside the flux capacitor at the back. It's a very good replica. So we've got a couple of Range Rovers over here. My dad used to have this particular model. Didn't have leather seats, so it was all cloth and it had a black roof. Uh, but I remember climbing to the back of this old Range Rover. Over here, got a Concept Defender, another Range Rover Concept. We've also got a Stormer as well, uh, which on my channel I previously featured this car as well. It's got Lamborghini doors, but unfortunately none of the exhibits are open today. Uh, but as you can see, inside, very futuristic. We found a Cooper made entirely out of Lego bricks. The coolest mini I've ever seen. Check out that stance though. We have the McLaren MP412C. You might remember this car from Top Gear back in the day. This exact car was driven by Jeremy Clarkson. Big fan of the colour as well. couple of Jaguar race cars here, a E-Type there, a Leyland and a couple of more Jaguars thrown in for good measure, as well as some Ford Rally cars. So one thing that's caught my eyes is this prototype MG here, obviously made in Coventry. It's never actually made it into production, but just take a look how cool it looks, how futuristic it looks, and how cool it would be to have one of these and no one of these. green. So a lineup of very nice Jaguars. It's very quiet in here but this is the CX75. It's an electric hybrid. Uh, it did almost come into production but it got cancelled and then you might recognise it from the James Bond movie uh, but this is the prototype made in the factory just over there. There's something crazy like only three running models ever produced, but this is a prototype. Obviously, it doesn't have a real engine in it, um, but nonetheless, it still looks the part, still looks very futuristic, still looks very cool. And the, uh, the figures that this car was going to produce in terms of power was uh, sent to behold, but unfortunately, it never made it into production, which, uh, which is very sad. We have a Jaguar F1 car and a Formula E car. If you look at my channel, you'll see a video of this going up with shells of Walsh Hill Climb. Here we've got the Bloodhound SSC car. Uh, this was a test car to test the parachute for the Bloodhound. Unfortunately, the project, as far as I know, is no longer going. Uh, but this is the test mule for the Canon for the parachute. And then next to it, we've got a Jaguar XJ220. This is the concept car. The actual production car didn't have the Lamborghini doors. 
But nonetheless, a very cool looking car. A couple more prototypes and concept cars here. Some very special ones as well. Followers of the channel for some time will recognize this Jaguar X Type Estate. I used to have one of these. Two litre turbo diesel. Here's the James Bond XJR from Die Another Day with the machine gun turret on the back. Also got the Austin Powers Jaguar alongside it. So in 2021, the uh, Honda factory closed in Swindon, unfortunately. And this car is in memory of the staff members that used to work there. All parts of the car are covered in signatures of all the staff members, as well as their employee numbers. A very fitting tribute to the staff members that dedicated 35 years to the factory in Swindon. Another car from my childhood is this Rover SD1. My dad used to have one in red. Got many, many childhood memories of that car. And then just over there, there's a lineup of Range Rovers. And there's also a P38, which my dad used to have. Obviously, that was a police variant. But um, yeah, a very nice collection up here. These are all the cars that they didn't have room for in the museum itself. So we've got the likes of the Mr. Bean colored mini over there. Uh, some special Jaguars over there with police lights in the grill and some more over there and also some concept cars hidden in the mix as well as well as a lorry as well but yeah a very nice collection here it's only growing uh, I came here a couple of years ago and since then the collection's grown cars change and they constantly move cars in and out uh, but nonetheless a very nice collection as you can see there's cars as far as the eye can see also these pair, these are quite notable. These two are owned by the Royal Family and I recognise the Jaguar from a couple of years ago when I met Meghan Markle in Birmingham. She loved the California sweater I was wearing. But these two cars I remember specifically from that day with the number plates, obviously the Jaguar. And it's got the police lights in the grill, police lights on the dashboard and of course the Range Rover. Not sure if this is the one who bought it proof windows or not, but I recognise these from the day and uh, these are actually owned by the Royal Family. So uh, Viking Views are doing their bits for butterflies. So we stopped briefly at Cafe Machine to have a drink. Lovely cool there. There's an E-Type over there. There's also an MG Midget over there. And just over here, there's two Ferraris. There's the Ferrari California and the Ferrari F430 Spider. So we are back home now and I'm in my home office. I am in the middle of setting it up. Hopefully I have either a TV or a picture on the wall behind me. Uh, I've got some stuff over there, a cabinet of all my model cars over there. I'll quickly show you what's behind me as well. I uh, can't show you too much because it's quite a mess in here, but a couple of my model cars up there as well. Uh, loads more to come from home, and I'm just using an old laptop uh, to prop my phone up for the moment because I'm in the process of deleting everything off the laptop and getting rid of it. And nonetheless, we had a fantastic day, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone that shows support on Instagram, Facebook, or well, I don't really use Facebook anymore, but I noticed that the likes are still going up, so I do appreciate that. And also the people that follow me on YouTube. Uh, you guys are amazing. I really enjoy interacting with you guys, especially when I go to car shows, etc. And, you know, just meet up with you and have a chat. Yeah, today was a bit of a, uh, a short video. Uh, there's quite a lot of car shows happening this weekend, but I'm busy tomorrow. I'm busy Sunday. So, unfortunately, uh, when the sun's out and car shows are happening, unfortunately, I have other plans, I'm afraid, which I cannot cancel. So uh, I thought I'd go out 
and go out with my missus and also film a video for you guys at the same time. So uh, you're welcome. But anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching the video. I'll see you all in my next video.